repeat the rules one more time. It's very simple. I'm just going to give you year, make, model, and color of an iconic vehicle from either film or TV. And uh, I might give you some other, I have some other hints uh, mixed in. And uh, you just have to raise your hand and give me what show or movie that vehicle is known for. Number one. <laughs> 1958 Plymouth Fury in red. Used in a TV or movie from 1983. Christine. Jeff. I saw Jeff first. What is it? Christine. Yeah, quit I, yelling I, out, Tim. I know. I put these little hints in. My hint for this yeah. was if the lead actor had kept it, he could have driven it around campus a few years later in back to school. <laughs> Three. All right, number two. I like this one. 2004 Pontiac Aztec in light green. Steph. Freaking bad. Oh. <laughs> I wrote, used to deliver pizzas on a roof. <laughs> Onto a roof. <laughs> Let me in, bitch. Uh, number three. 1961 Ferrari 250 GT in red. 1961. Tim. Tim. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You got it. I can't wait to see the look on the bastard's face. <laughs> That's good suspension after it falls out of the window. <laughs> Killed your car. All right, number four. 1982 Pontiac Trans Am in black. Tim. Steph. Smoking the Bandit. Nope, I'm throwing Tim. you off on this one. Tim. Night Rider. Night Rider, very good. Ah, damn it. Night Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Damn it, of course. I wrote heavily modified. <laughs> and my my hint was a hamburger could have easily been eaten off the floor of this car. <laughs> All right, number five. That's a good clue, but nice. it's fucking 15 years ago, so that's a great clue. <laughs> uh, 1979 Ford LTD Country Squire in pea green and wood Tim. paneling. Steph, I saw you first. Mad Men? No. Tim. Tim. Uh, vacation. Vacation. Trying to pull the map. Audrey, when they close the road, they put up big signs like this one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's from 1983. All right, number six. 1974 Dodge Monaco in black and white. From, from TV or a movie from 1980. Tim. Who's Brothers? You got it. The caddy. Where's the caddy? The what? The Cadillac we used to have. The Bluesmobile. They traded it. Traded the Bluesmobile for this? No, for a microphone. A microphone? Okay, I can see that. Shit. Yeah, the new Bluesmobile. Come on, Steph. <clears throat> I know, it's absurd. That may have been my favorite, that one. Um, I wrote, steering wheel can be used for writing checks to club owners for beer consumption. <laughs> 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 All right, number you seven. Know, the original voice of the sheriff in Squidbillies is in, uh, is in the Blues Brothers. Who? Uh, the, the band, or the guy who owns the bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he did the first season of, the, of Squidbillies. He did the voice of the Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's been in some other stuff. He was the one who got filleted in Silence of the Lambs. Oh. Yeah. 
What kind of music do you have here, man? Oh, we got both kinds. Country and Western. And Western. Mind All the right. drawings, please. This may be tricky. Number seven. 1976 AMC Pacer in Baby Blue. Steph. Wayne's World. Very oh. good. <laughs> this is my best friend, Garth Elgar. Hi. I said it's compact, but wide enough to accommodate all of your friends inside of it to loudly sing Queen songs all together. <laughs> um, number eight, 1973 Ford Falcon GT oh. in black. This is, could be a tough one. From, uh, from TV or a movie in 1981. Anybody? 81. 81. 1973 Ford Falcon. You ready for the hint? Yeah. Supercharged for quickly shuttling Holocaust deniers across the Australian wasteland. <laughs> Steph. It was Road Warrior. It was Road Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tim. 